I'm very sorry for the degree of suffering and hardship that people have experienced. This has been an extraordinary scale of a storm that has affected most of Scotland, but most acutely the east coast and particularly the northeast of Scotland. And the level of damage that's been inflicted on the power network is colossal. The recovery operation is taking time. I want to assure people of the determination to do that as swiftly as we possibly can do. And I've been pressing the power companies to make as much progress in, in in doing that. But obviously in the aftermath of any incident of this nature, we've got to reflect on the issues that have happened, we've got to learn the lessons and make sure that we build all that into our planning for the future. On a weather incident, there's not very much we can do to prevent the weather coming in that comes in. And it was a storm that came in a direction that is not the prevailing wind direction within Scotland. So our infrastructure, understandably and sensibly, is established to withstand pressure from the prevailing wind direction, which is southwesterly in Scotland. Obviously, the intensity of this storm came from the north and down the east coast. This is an extreme weather incident that we faced. What we've got to make sure is that we have resilience in place as best we can do to deal with these instances. Well, what, what we need to look at is the resilience of the, the power networks. The power companies have got a statutory duty to do that. They will have to reflect on that because obviously a lot of damage has been done by trees to the power network. We've got to look at the, um, the way in which communication has been undertaken between power companies and their customers because I've picked up a lot of dissatisfaction about that from members of the public today. What's got to be done is that we've got to make the, the quickest steps to restore power. Uh, over the course of the last few days, over 200,000 customers have had power restored within Scotland. We're down to now about, about 6,000 customers that are still off supply. Uh, progress will be made on that today and uh, tomorrow and pressing the power companies to resolve that as quickly as possible. Well, I understand entirely the frustrations and the concerns and the hardship that people have experienced. I'm sorry for that. And I want to make sure that uh, we do everything we can in the short term to resolve those issues. That's the absolute priority. And I give people the assurance that we will look carefully at all of the lessons that have to be learned to make sure we can prepare as effectively as we can for the significant weather incident that we experienced last Friday.